All right, guys, we are up here on the roof filming our Rise Above series. I'm about to call Jim Stout, good friend of mine, really involved at his hands. Ask him how he rises above the chaos. Hopefully this is not a long conversation because I way, way underestimated how hot it is standing on the roof and I'm wearing jeans, which is dumb. Okay, here we go. Calling, calling Jim. Hey, what's up, Jim? How you doing? Good. I've I've got you uh, I've got you on speaker, so that the microphone I'm wearing can hear you. And I'm standing on the roof of the church, because nice. you know better reception and metaphorically speaking, we're talking about rising above. So we're thought, like let's film it on the roof. Uh, only downside is that it's super hot up here, like crazy hot. So uh, oh, I bet. yeah, I didn't think about that. But hey, it's all good. It's all good because I know you're gonna you're gonna make this quick, which is which is awesome. You doing well this morning? I am. Very good. Well, hey, I'll just get right to it. When you when life feels uncertain, everything around you feels chaotic, what is, what is a thought or a practice, some truth that you grab a hold of that just helps you kind of rise above the chaos and find some peace? Um, and this is something that I've been doing for a while, and it really comes down to who do I trust. Okay. Do I trust God or do I trust men? Mm. Now, if you trust God and you truly trust him, then you will go to what he says. And he has a set of promises that he has given us. Mm. He, has, he has done things for us through Christ. And when we sit there and understand what he has done, and the eternal perspective of that, and that's where I go to, Justin. I go to the eternal perspective. I sit there and go, okay, I trust you, Lord. I trust what you've said. Mm. You've given us promises. And so what I do is I step back. I step back from the present and go into the eternal perspective of God and try to dwell on that. I say, God, you have told me that you have promises that are, are going to happen. And since I trust you, I'm going to dwell on those promises. I'm mm. going to sit back and look at the eternal perspective. The Bible talks about our lives being just a whiff of smoke and then it's gone. But for the, for our life here on earth, that, that is true. But our life from a total perspective goes on forever and there's right. promises that god has given us and i just you know it's almost like just kind of sitting back in a recliner and saying lord i'm going to dwell in your eternal promises mm. instead of what i see today and it really comes down to that you have to trust in god and you 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 trust god by spending time with him and dwelling in his presence and that's really what i do it really yeah. comes down to sitting back and saying, God, I'm going to trust your eternal promises that you have because your word does not come back void. And that's really what I do. That's awesome. So it's a question of who do I trust? Do I trust God or do I trust men and, and you know the systems of this world? And if you really do trust God, then you should trust that his promises are more certain than any of the, the things that we think are certain in this world. Um, and obviously, if someone doesn't you know, maybe know or, or isn't very familiar with those promises that God has made, they can obviously go online and just type up what are some of the promises of God, some promises He's made us. And there's a lot of lists online for that. It's really helpful stuff. But that's, man, that's awesome. So ask that question, who do I trust, God or man? And if the answer is God, then really dwell on His promises to get that, that eternal perspective. I love it. I love it. Thank you. That's it. Hey, man, well, you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for taking the call. Hey, thank you, Justin. You're right. And hey, by the way, if... Uh, if you don't hear from me for a few weeks, I'm, I probably passed out on the roof. So just uh, just come find me. Send help. Hey, you'll be mummified. Yeah, you'll I'll be, be well preserved. preserved. <laughs> All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye.